It's important that you save your vote for the November election. This is the call that went out to people across New Hampshire just one day before the first in the nation primary. A message generated by artificial intelligence to sound like President Joe Biden's voice, discouraging voters from heading to the polls. It sounded like Joe Biden. I thought, well, that's weird. And then as I listened more, I mean, like, it doesn't really sound like Joe Biden. Krista Zurich was one of the voters to get that call. Now the man who admitted to sending it is facing criminal charges. Grand juries in three New Hampshire counties indicting Stephen Kramer for impersonating a candidate and bribing, intimidation, and suppression. In a February interview with News 9, Kramer claimed he only sent those messages to prove a point about the need for more regulations around AI. And he had a message for prosecutors. If they want to come after me in a more, let's say, you're getting thrown in jail and we're going to throw away the key and all that. Well, if that's their attitude and bring it. Those who got that call say they were furious someone tried to keep them from voting and are happy to see Kramer is now facing criminal charges. I, I'm glad. I, I, they need to stop these people because it's ridiculous. This is a, our right to vote and it could have impacted things in the election. It's just terrible. So I think that needs to happen. It needs to be made clear that what he did was wrong and we don't want that to happen around our votes. Now, we have reached out to the New Hampshire Attorney General's office, but we're told they cannot comment. We've also reached out to Kramer directly and so far have not heard back. Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9.